Welcome to DigitalLifestyle.com. Uh, this is another how-to video, and a nice simple one. We're going to look at how to rip a music CD onto Windows Media Center, so you can play it back through Media Center and extenders, and we'll look a bit at uh, playlists and some of the other music functions. So for this, I'm going to use the HP TouchSmart a CD, and uh, good. first thing we're going to do is get the CD into Media Center. So. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the CD into the Media Center PC and Media Center should recognize when the CD has been inserted. Okay, so picked up the CDs in. So it started playing automatically. So now I've got the option I can uh, view the CD I can copy the CD, view the queue, the visualizers. So what I'm going to do is copy CD. And this is the first time I've done any copying on here. It's asking, do I know add copy protection? No, I don't. Yes. So that's now copying that uh, CD to the local machine. Now the reason that, um, as this was the first time that I'd copied a CD on this machine, it asked me if we wanted copy protection. Copy protection adds on some extra uh, copy protection to the WMA file that the machine's now creating, and it would mean that it would only played from this PC. So um, for music, that's something you're not going to want, and it adds an extra layer of complexity that you don't really need. So I uh, choose not to do that. So this is now copying that. Uh, album to the media center machine see it's going through track by track so it's done the first one and uh, we'll come back when it's finished right that's finished now so that's going to be copied to the media library so now what I can do back to media center go to music library now I can view this by albums and I can uh, find it there. Now that's the one, the little CD icon there shows that that's the, the CD that's in. And I'll also find that um, in here amongst mine and um, wives and everybody else's music on the machine. There we go, you can see that there. So there's this too. So this is actually a, uh, a written copy and I can take the disc out of this machine now. So if I wanted to play, I can just play album, and away we go. So that's got how to rip music with Windows Media Center. Now there are some a lot of extra stuff that you can do. So as you see here, I'm playing the the album, and I can. I stop that. I can say I wanted to play Kashmir. And when that's finished, I want that track. And then I can say I also want that as well from another album and so on. some duplicates on there. So I can build up a queue. I go to now playing in queue. I can view the queue. So there's my queue. Now I can do things like burn that to a CD. This list, so I can make a, like a playlist up, burn it to a CD. One thing I do like uh, is shuffle. So you can just, it'll just randomly play whatever's on the list. That's the music library. I can view by artist, genre, songs. I can create playlists, composers. Yeah, that's quite an interesting one. And the album artist. But I must admit, I use the album view most. 
Now, of course, all this works on a MIDI center extender as well. So, if I listen to the music through my surround sound receiver, I can just go up to my Xbox 360 and use exactly the same user interface. And there are other things I can do. I can stream this through Windows Media Player. I can uh, copy that those tracks to my Zoom using the Zoom software. It's on my machine now and uh, all ready to play. So that was a, a real quick look of how to get a CD rip onto Media Center. And then, like I said, you can play it on extenders, you can play it through Media Center, through Windows Media Player, through Zoom software and other software uh, that runs on Windows. Nice and simple, fill through the 10-foot interface and uh, a really nice way of, uh, of using music on Media Center. So thanks very much for watching, look out for another how-to video soon, bye.